welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well today. Alright, the songs that came through for today's reading. The first one that came through was Mercy by Brett Young and it goes like this. Mercy, why you gotta show up looking so good just to hurt me? Why you wanna stop this whole damn world from turning? Mercy. Why are you hanging on so tight if this ain't working? Why you want to stop this flame if it's still burning? Because it's still burning. So if you're going to break my heart, just break it. And if you're going to take your shot, then take it. If you made up your mind, then make it. But make this fast. If you ever loved me, have mercy. If you go out tonight and get drunk and lonely, wind up home alone, please don't call me and say you miss me. No, if you're going to break my heart, just break it. And if you're going to take your shot, then take it. Take it. If you made up your mind, then make it. But make it fast. If you ever loved me, have mercy. Whoa, if, it, if you ever loved me, have mercy. If you're going to break my heart, just break it. If you're going to take your shot, just take it. Whoa, if you're going to break my heart, just break it. And if you're going to take your shot, then just take it, take it. If you made up your mind, then make it. Make this fast. If you ever love me, if you ever love me, have mercy. Oh, have mercy. Oh, have mercy. Have mercy. Okay, and then the next song that came through was Naked. Ava Max Naked Lyrics. And it goes like this. Wrap me in, de wrap me in designer sheets and trace along this frame. Ask me why they used to say that trouble was my name. I've been playing a fool since I s stepped into the game. Tell me I'm like heaven. Take the good Lord's name in vain. But when I play my cards, keep them too close to my chest. Never fall in love. Everybody loses their bet. But underneath, I just need to forget. So come and get me undressed. Well, you can take off all my clothes and never see me naked see me for real if you don't know my heart you're never gonna break it <clears throat> baby tell me if it's safe to bear my soul i want to show you my deepest secrets secrets i think i'm ready to be exposed i want you watching me when you take off all my clothes and really see me naked see me for real if I let you leave the light on and I drop my guard, promise that you'll see me for my truth and not my scars. But when I play the cards, I keep them close to my chest. Never fall in love. Everybody loses their bet. But underneath, I just need to forget. So come and get me under. Uh, so come and get me undressed. Yeah. Well, you can take off all my clothes and never see me naked. See me for real. If you don't know my heart, you're never going to break it. Baby, tell me if it's safe to bear my soul. I want to show you my deepest secrets. Secrets. I think I'm ready to be exposed. I want you watching me when you take off all my clothes and really see me naked, see me for real. If I keep my distance, I can't connect with you. Lay my head on your chest and just surrender, just surrender to you. Well, you can take off all my clothes and never see me naked. If you don't know my heart, you're never gonna break it. Tell me if it's safe to bear my soul. I wanna show you my deepest secrets. I think I'm ready to be exposed. I want you watching me when you take off all my clothes and really see me naked, see me for real. So we have somebody who has fallen in love and this person that you've fallen in love with has intimacy issues. They are afraid to be intimate. They are afraid of exposing the truth, 
the true them because they're afraid that they'll get hurt. But in the process of being that way, they are hurting all the people that they're getting to know. Because they're not letting anyone see the, the real them. You can see me naked, but you'll never see the real me. Because I won't let you. I'll keep my distance from you so that I can't connect with you. Okay? So, have mercy has already connected. And they're in way too deep. And they're asking uh, naked. They're like, naked, if you've ever loved me, have mercy. You know what you're doing. You know that this flame still burns. And yet, you refuse to let down your guard. You refuse to let me in. So they will not let you in. And they just keep you dangling like a carrot. You remember the donkey with the carrot that was dangling in front of its head on a string? And the the carrot was just dangling and the donkey was going after the carrot. But the, 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 there was somebody controlling the carrot and the donkey was never going to get the carrot because the person holding the carrot was not going to let them have it. They were going to keep dangling it and using the donkey to get where they wanted to go. And so somebody is using you by dangling their love in front of you, but they're never going to let you have it. They're saying in the song that they're ready to be exposed, that they're ready to open up, but they want to know, can they trust you with their deepest secrets? If I take everything off and I show you what's really under there, Will you look at me for who I am or will you just see my scars? So they have a history. They have something in their past that they are afraid, if you know about it, that that's all you'll ever see about them. <clears throat> so let's get started. May I see, please, start with a prayer, Spirit said. Prayer, please, for this collective spirit. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So this is about acceptance. Realizing that I have to accept what I can't change, have the courage to change the things that I can change, and have the wisdom to know the difference. And there's another version of that prayer that goes like this. God grant me the serenity to accept the people that I cannot change, the courage to change the person that I can, and the wisdom to know that that person is me, okay, so you might be the only person that you can change in this situation, this is about having respect and having humility, so this person has no humility because they think very highly of their self. They know they look good. They know that when they're naked that you see somebody who's hot, who's very attractive, who's beautiful, who's probably flawless. But they have no humility and they have no respect. You've learned a lesson about this and somebody here needs compassion. And also, overall, there's a need for self-control as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use the red tarot and pull tarot on this just to see how spirit's working. Show me how you're working your spirit with, when it comes to the tarot. How are you at work today? Welcome to Sagittarius season, by the way. Happy birthday to my Sagittarians. The world is here with the star and strength, all in reverse. So, there's a sense that you're being strong and you're hoping that this is over. You're hoping that you're finally at the end of a very tough situation. Alright, what's going to pull it together? I'm sorry, what's the, why do I keep doing that? The energy to overcome is the lovers. A choice, but that's what's going to pull it together because I asked what's going to pull it together. What's the energy to overcome? So, you're going to have a choice. You get to decide if you want to put up with this person's bullshit anymore. Because they got some bullshit with them. And until they work through their intimacy issues, they are no good to you or anyone else. What's the energy to overcome, Spirit? A tower. You're realizing something. And I think you're realizing that you have a choice. 
This is being transformed. Something is being transformed. Scorpio's here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Leo's here twice. Taurus is here. Aquarius is here. And Gemini are here as well. <clears throat> so, let's find out how this happened. Show me how this happened, Spirit, when it comes to have mercy. Show me how it happened with have mercy. Show me how it happened with have mercy and naked. Somebody was in control and they were giving you one last chance. Somebody was controlling themselves. And they were. They were controlling their intimacy. They were holding back the true them. And only there was drama because of one last chance. So you gave this person another chance and it didn't change. Nothing changed. Show me how this happened, Spirit. Somebody was trying not to overthink. Why did I say that? Somebody didn't want to feel desperate, but they had a desire to win. Desperate came out. I need answers. Talk to me. I'm going mad trying to understand. But they knew how. They know. They don't need to feel desperate. I'm not desperate. You have a desire to win. You're not desperate. You just have a desire to win. I'm going to look better. I'm going to do better. And I'm going to get somebody hotter. I'm not desperate. I just want to have the best. Alright. What's being hidden? That somebody won't change. What won't change? True love and take it slow. They're in love with somebody. But they're taking it real slow. Alright. And what's being shown? A divine union came out. Why is divine union in reverse? Because somebody was kept waiting. So you've been moving real slow because you're in love with this person, but you have you've moved so slowly and kept them waiting. And what's gonna happen next? It's gonna be your choice, but in reverse. So, you've already made your choice. What's the choice you've made? You've already decided. Oh, children came out of the wrong deck. Somebody's pushing your buttons. You're fantasizing. You're trusting your intuition. You're being divinely guided. And you're worried because somebody is trying to escape. And it has something to do with children. Let's say they're trying not to escape because of some children. Somehow children are involved and it's causing you to try not to escape. Somehow children and using alcohol or drugs to escape. You're worried about this. This is causing you concern. So what's going to happen next? You're, you, have, you had a choice, but you already made your choice. Is you're gonna you're gonna push somebody's buttons because of fantasizing, trusting your intuition, being divinely guided, and being worried about somebody trying to use alcohol or drugs to escape because of their children. What do you mean they're pushing your buttons? How are they pushing your buttons? I think they're making you fantasize. They're pushing your buttons. They're making you overthink and pretending like they don't care and like they have somebody new. <coughs> so somebody is pretending like they like they could care less and they're overthinking because you have somebody new. And they're worried that this is affecting their children. Drinking and drugging is affecting their children. What are they doing trusting their intuition about divinely guided? They have some unsent messages, but they are... They can't tell you that they forgive you or that they want, they, they want you to forgive them. Why do they want forgiveness? Why can't they tell you they want to forgive? Because they're at their breaking point. Why are they at their breaking point? Because 
I love you. I can't get you out of my head. The grass wasn't greener and not for you. So they can't stop thinking about how much they love you. And how because you went in the wrong direction towards the wrong person that they feel like they're not for you. Somebody's not for you. You thought they were for you. And you want to tell this person you're sorry. You want to say, I'm sorry I went in the wrong direction. It was a mistake. But you won't say that. I don't know why you won't say that. Why won't you say that? Because you're stalking. And I choose you is in reverse. Why did, Why is I choose you in reverse? I think you realize this person's over you. If somebody's having fling. Yeah. You're stalking and you're realizing that somebody's having a fling. They're making silent moves. So... You were going too slow when it came to making somebody wait who was a divine union. You weren't desperate. You just had a desire to win, to be the best, to have the best. And you've been stalking somebody and you realize that I choose you, but I'm having a fling. And you want to tell this person you love them and that whoever you're with is not for you. And you can't say that to them. You're like, I'm overthinking and I don't care that you have a new love. I don't care about new love. Somebody's pushing your buttons and you're like, I don't care about your new love. You can't stop thinking about it, but you don't care. And somebody has children that are affected by drinking and drugging. And they are concerned. They're worried. But somebody's making silent moves. Clarify the silent moves they're making. They're partying. They're not going to make somebody prove it. They're not. They're having an epiphany that nobody cares. It's like, nobody cares that I want to be alone. My family does not care about me. And I'm just going to party. They don't even care that I'm partying. And I don't trust, I don't trust the plan. What's going to be the outcome here? You're going to have a friendship. It's just not the right time. Why is it not the right time to have a friendship? Because don't force it. This person's clueless. And they don't realize that you made a mistake. That's not true. You think it's true, but it's not true. I want to find out how your friend feels. I think your friend might be this divine union. The one you're taking it so slow with. Show me how the friend feels this happened. How does the friend feel this happened? They feel like somebody was clueless about competition. How does the friend feel? Divinely guided and not clueless. So they know what's going on. You just think they're clueless, but they're not. They're not going to let you see the true them. They, it's not, they're, you're, you're, you're not clueless and you're fighting them. How does the friend feel this happened? Tell me how the friend feels this happened. The friend feels like you were having a fling and partying and make them prove it. Alright, what was being hidden? You remember you didn't think anybody wanted you to prove it. You didn't think anybody cared. What's being hidden is you're, you're on the outs with your family. What's being shown... What's being shown is that you can trust the plan, but you're pretending. What are you pretending? Maybe you're pretending that you're trusting the plan. What are you pretending? May I see, please, what they're pretending about? They're pretending like they've shut down and like somebody's controlling their freedom. What's the truth? The truth 
is that they're eliminating somebody, making silent moves. Enough is enough. Trust your intuition. It's only you. You're in denial. You're in denial that it's not only you. So, they're eliminating somebody secretly. And it's like they're pretending like they haven't had enough. But trust your intuition. They've had enough. And it's only you, but you're in denial. Clarify being in denial about it being only you. Show me who this is that's in denial about only you. What's the truth about only you? The truth is, is that there's gossip and you're, te you're uh, telepathic. You do have a desire to win. So, Spirit said get the other deck. What's the T? Nobody wants to hear or you don't know about this gossip. What's the gossip? The gossip is that somebody has a secret they're hiding. And what's the secret? <clears throat> that they're going to travel by themselves to a mystery undisclosed and unknown. So secretly, they're planning on traveling alone. Why is it why is this not a mystery? Because they want to have a sparkle, a wish with somebody they have unconditional love for. And last spring there was Gaia. This is a card in the wrong deck. Gaia is about trust that the universe has a better plan than you do. Protecting the planet, herbalism, and working with nature in some way. So last spring you were doing something with nature. And you had a wish with this. You have a spark with somebody you love unconditionally. And something happened last spring when it came to some land or herbalism. Clarify what happened in the spring. Somebody had an affair. They were a cheater. And they got digmatized. It came out in reverse. So somebody cheated on you. Somebody has a hidden agenda. They were traveling alone, and you didn't know this, but they had a, a surprise. They fell in love, and they had an affair and got digmatized. So what's going on with that relationship now? They're frozen. So this person has gotten frozen. They don't talk to them anymore. Why are they frozen now? Because somebody wants revenge because of this. Somebody wants revenge. And they feel like they uh, were made a victim. Alright, tell me the rest of the tea, please. The rest of the tea is caution. They're a copycat and they're depressed. Be careful because they're a copycat who's depressed. Clarify copycat. They're in their feelings about fulfilling a fantasy. And what's going to be the outcome here? Your parenting. What about your parenting? You're investigating how somebody's just writing this out. And what's going to be the outcome of it? You're going to have se you're, you're, you're going to have sex, tantric sex and you and go to the sex shop. Card in the wrong deck alert, more gossip. What's the rest of the gossip? Somebody's going to argue and put somebody in their place and the game is over. Clarify the game that's over. You're centered in the line with the universe and you're a diamond girl who's born to shine. So what do you have to do with this? You're recording or announcing or expressing. You're revealing the truth. And setting the record straight. And what is the record being straight? That somebody got caught cheating and betrayed you. So maybe you don't know this and you're just finding out from this video. But your person cheated on you last spring. I think you do know and I think you want revenge or somebody wants revenge. 
They've been partying, having flings, and Spirit says, make them prove it. You made them prove that they were partying and having flings. And this caused um, some problems in your relationship is what it looks like to me. All right, I'm going to leave the T-Dex over here. I want to look at this a little bit more. Show me a little bit more about how this happened, Spirit. Show me how this happened. How did this happen? Somebody was trying to get, be on the right path and it was a main male. So there was a main male and he thought he was on the right path. Alright, what was being hidden? A privileged lady. So you had a privileged lady you were hiding, or somebody was. The, the pathway is number 35, the main male is number 1, and the privileged lady is number 12. And what was being shown? What was being shown was that somebody was not concerned and they were not in despair. What was going to happen next? They didn't know somebody's having bad health. Why are they having bad health? That's number 31. We have 32 and 33. So there's like a progression, but it's out of order. They have bad health because of something they've been thinking about. A thief and unexpected income. <clears throat> so somebody could have hurt you and caused you to have bad health. They could have robbed you, stabbed you, shot you, mugged you. You're thinking about the reason why you have bad health. It could also just be from worrying so much. You're thinking about somebody stealing from you an unexpected income. And a mature woman is involved. <clears throat> What's going to be the outcome of uh, unexpected income? Somebody's marriage. An imprisonment. No honor. A gift. And being in the wrong community with an official person. So you're imprisoned in a marriage where there's no honor and there's a gift with the community. Why is the community in reverse? Because of a mature man. Why is the mature man here? Because of his job. And a courtship. He's getting to know someone. Alright. Let's see how, how else. Show me how else this happened. How? What else happened here? Go all in or get the fuck out. You needed to go on a real fucking date. And interrupting was for assholes letting him finish. So you went on a real date. And you were like... I need to go all in this relationship or just get out of it. You remember, have mercy. Interrupting is for assholes. Why were you being interrupted on your date? Maybe somebody was trying to call you. You were being interrupted because you said, fuck your job and I'm packing my bag. So, work. You were trying to go on a date and in work called. You wanted to go see somebody or go on a date and work called. It was like, I need you to pack your bags and go on a trip. All right, what's being hidden? That might be when they had that affair while you were out of town. That you're irritated because you don't want to do this. You want shit to be different. And what's being shown? May I see what's being shown, please? So there's an older man that you work for, it looks like. And somehow they're not a part of your community. You're hot, smart, and you have a great ass. Your person is lucky. All right, you're in a marriage where you feel imprisoned. You have no honor. Somebody gave you a gift. 
so you wouldn't be at home and it was a mature man that you worked for. So there was a mature man who got who gave you a job so you wouldn't be at home. And that's why when you went on this real date, they called you and said, hey, I got a job for you to do. And you were planning to go on a trip to see somebody, I think. But you couldn't go because this man called you. Somebody controls this man, and I think it's your marriage. Because this person feels like they're in prison to be married to you. What's going to happen next? You're going to love the one you're with. And how's that going to work out for you? It's going to be time for shit to get real. And you're going to send a picture. Outcome of time for shit to get real. <clears throat> you're going to fucking say it. Resentment kills the magic and do the damn dishes. What are you going to fucking say? You're going to say, you're an asshole and you fucked up. Fill in the blank. And just walk away. Yeah, you're going to leave this person. Because you're going to find out that they fucked up. They were having an affair while you were out of town working last spring. <sighs> what happened while you were out of town working last spring? You couldn't protect yourself. You couldn't go to the gym. Somebody didn't want to hear it because you said you were having family time. Alright, outcome of your family time. That's why you had to be cautious because somebody was being a copycat and they made a fake apology because you were fighting for what you loved. Outcome of being cautious. You had to get a room and you were a great actor. What were you acting? You were acting like you were investigating, like you were having sex, going to the sex shop, Gossip in the wrong deck. Arguing and putting people in their place. And you were like, this game is over. I'm centered and aligned with the universe. But there's gossip. About writing it out and being busy. What's the gossip? The gossip is that somebody made bad choices. Because of their jealousy. And they need to check themselves Because they're fake friends. And trash. <laughs> Outcome of checking themselves. They're going to be trash. You're trash. And you're going to get kicked to the curb, fake friends. Alrighty then. That's what's going on here. Alright, now let's look at the tarot while we have that. What, why is the world, the star, and the strength here for how the spirit's working? Because this is something you have a strong desire for. The devil is here. This is a strong, strong, strong desire. You have a strong desire to be strong and to have hope for this to end. Clarify what you want to end. <clears throat> The truth is here with the Ace of Swords and Frozen. You want, you have a strong desire to understand the truth and why somebody's so cold. Why, why, why are they so cold? Because they're unawakened. The High Priestess is here and the King of Cups. So they're in love with somebody else. And you know this. Intuitively, you know this. You're not unawakened. You know this person is in love with somebody else. Cancer's here. Pisces is here. And Scorpio's here. Aphuicus could also be here. Because this King of Cups is nowhere else. On, oh, it's a Scorpio. It looks like it's a Scorpio. But it could be any of the water elements. This is a high priestess, which is a Pisces. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You were not unawakened. And you knew, in your heart of hearts, in your spirit, you knew this person was in love. Why are they frozen? Because the card in the wrong deck. They won't apologize. There was no apology. Clarify the apology that was not made. This is the wrong deck. To this empress. Somebody owed this empress an apology. 
and that's why they were so cold. Because rather than apologize, they're just going to say, fuck you. Alright, why is the uh, tower here? This is the, uh, this is energy for you to overcome. Because you're at a crossroads about some deception. What's the deception you're at a crossroads about? It has to do with healing and having hope. Clarify the healing for hope. The healing and hope. There's going to be justice. This could be something legal. There's going to be justice for rejecting this person. You deceived this person. You had the opportunity to get honest with them and tell them the truth and to apologize to them. But you didn't. Instead, you became cold to them. And Spirit says, you're realizing that there's going to be justice. Clarify the justice that you're realizing. You're getting justice. Oh, wow. There's an argument happening. It's undecided about being forbidden and you're arguing with somebody. What are you arguing about? The Hermit is here, Virgo's here, the Tower is here, and the King of Wands. So Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius are here. You're soul searching about this. You're waking up to the fact that there's been rejection when you should have been truthful about deception. Clarify the Tower again. The tower, again, is this being cold-hearted. Why are you really being cold-hearted? Because you know you need to clean up this karma. And what are you planning to do? You're, you're grieving, and you're com the truth is coming out. What is the truth? The truth is, is that you were, you were using this person for money. You, you want to go on a date with this person. But you have to end. It's, you've been unfair to them when it came to a date. Clarify being unfair about a date. The hangman in reverse and a karmic partner. Yeah, you were stuck on a karmic partner. Why is the lovers here? Because somebody's wishes are coming true. And it's because they're going to walk away from what no longer serves them. Clarify walking away. <clears throat> Sagittarius is here with temperance, being divinely guided, not standing up for their self, being strong, using good judgment, being pissed off, and manifesting. What are they manifesting? Somebody, it's like they're not recognizing somebody playing mind games with them. Why not? Because what a catch. What do you mean they're playing mind games because of what a catch? They're wishing, but you hurt them and you ended this. They were wishing that you would choose them and want to be with them and were manifesting it even. But rather than do that, you lied to them, played mind games with them, deceived them. And because you owed them an apology for being with this karmic partner, you're going to get karma. Why is death here? And you're realizing this twice. Death is here because somebody's healing. It's time. You don't know what to do, though. And this has been a nightmare for you. And now what's the T again with learning your lesson? What's the T about learning their lesson, Spirit? Somebody was doing drugs and wanting to run away. Why couldn't they run away? So somebody was doing drugs, so they ran away. There were total drama in action, and somebody was attracting like a moth to a flame. Clarify what you mean. Somebody was watching this shit go down and enjoying it. And now they're expecting a new beginning. Why are they expecting a new beginning? They might have got somebody pregnant. Because they're having to stand up for their self. This has been a nightmare. They got caught cheating. And you already know the tea. They betrayed your ass. You were busy and they were money hungry. What lesson did they learn? They learned that somebody's a hater and that they're coming in after you. 
clarify the hater. They're set. They, they're not going to the movies because they're depressed. They've been fulfilling a fantasy. And they're not in their feelings about parenting. They don't care about your parenting. You're falling apart. You're busy and money hungry. Anything else we need to know? Somebody is not keeping a promise. The sugar and the salt both look the same. What promise are they not keeping? Be money hungry, over it, and tired of the drama, and somebody's coming in after you because of being toxic as hell. Anything out of this deck for gossip? Somebody is bound, stuck, or trapped in a long-term partnership. And how do they feel about that? They're a secret admirer who's stuck since last fall, and they're not in love with this person. Even in the summer, they weren't in love with this person. So what are they going to do? They're going to show unconditional love to somebody from last spring. What do you mean a mystery last spring? Somebody was faking in their communication. Why were they faking communication? Because they were closed off and unallowed in the winter and they were thinking about this. And what did they decide? They decided that they were sorry for being so materialistic and for having a third party. Because this was not their destiny. What is their destiny? Their destiny is, I'm sorry, but not sorry. There's going to be a, a surprise twist of fate. Somebody's not going to make a gesture of love. And they're going to detach from you. Because they are, why are they detaching? Because they're choosing even though you're their perfect pair, they're choosing to believe that you're not. In the summer, they were like, you're not my perfect pair. All right. Why is death on the bottom of the deck? What else is going on with death? Somebody's hiding their feelings and it's clarified by death. What's going to change? Something's about to change. Somebody's going to tame their hunger. Clarify what they're, what you mean. Cancer's here with the moon and unawaken. So there is some dark shit in unawaken. What's going to be the outcome of that? They're going to juggle. And they're going to reevaluate a, a queen of pentacles. What are they seeing when they reevaluate? They're seeing that they broke this person's heart because they were internally conflicted about an emperor and having a relationship. What are they going to do about this? They're learning their lesson about these memories and they are their identical match. Outcome for the Queen of Pentacles. They're mirroring. What are they mirroring? Not showing love and then a party. What do you mean not showing love at a party? They're not working. They're bickering and fighting. So what's going to happen with the emperor? The emperor has a queen of wands and a queen of swords. What's going to happen with the queen of swords? They're not going to be their friend anymore. What's going to happen with the Queen of Wands? She's got her a King of Pentacles. So, the Queen of Wands, this Leo vibe, has a King of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords is, is like setting boundaries when it comes to friendship. What's going to be the outcome for the Queen of Swords? She's going to ghost or be ghosted. Because somebody's not starting a new opportunity. Why not? Because of an, a Sagittarius that's in love. They're in love with a Sagittarius. I think that's a Gemini. They're in love with a Sagittarius. Why is their opportunity in reverse? Their, their cup of love is upright, but their new job or new home is in reverse. Why is their new home in reverse? 
because somebody's money hungry and they're looking for the next what to do next and what are they going to do next they're going to move away from this and slow and steady rebuild their money and stand up for themselves uh, show me how this masculine feels the masculine is seen through illusions they've reached their limit when it comes to longing what about the feminine over here the feminine is avoiding fighting and getting clarity about getting established. And what's connecting these two? They have memories, but they're drifting because of needing to be nourished. Outcome of this relationship. You're hiding it. Why are you hiding your relationship? Because you have no chemistry and there's too much distance. And there's dark influences. Why is there no chemistry? Because you're trapped. And you're clinging to something. That you won't let go of. Outcome for this divine masculine spirit. You're going to have interference. Clarify what you mean. Interference. Is about you're you learning a spiritual lesson about stability use your intuition about being on different pages what about the divine feminine spirit what's going on with the divine feminine balance is here and integrity anything connecting these two self-care what else abundance is connecting you mastering a spiritual lesson Going slow, it's a twin flame. And outcome of the twin flame. You're going to retreat. Why are you retreating? Because you didn't apologize. It was true love. They were patient. They showed you support. And there was children involved. Interesting. Alright, can you show me what's going to happen here? Somebody's bound to some toxic shit. What's being hidden? Wish fulfillment. And what's being shown? That somebody needs to say they're sorry or forgive. And their ancestors and guides are trying to help them to do that. So they can get in their life purpose. And what will they decide to do? They're thinking about it. They're thinking about a job, but they'd have to move to have the job. And what's going to happen next? They're going to stop having so much doubt and awaken. Awaken to what? That they feel guilty because of a Venus offer. What's going to be the outcome of the Venus offer? May I see, please? You're going to transcend this, and you're going to get healing and love yourself. Outcome of that, this winner, Divine Masculine, is avoiding this. Why are you avoiding that, Divine Masculine? Because you need to ha take off your facade about your beliefs. What are your beliefs? That you spy, that you party, and that you need nurturing and compassion. Why do you spy? Because you're trying to decide if it's time to take action. Is it time to take action? Yes, it's time to take action. You need to release something, surrender and purge, and stop being separate from this person. It's time for you to have a union. Outcome of having a union. The outcome of having a union would be in the summer... This is being transformed. No more disharmony and triggers. What do you mean transform? You're going to have union. Clarify wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment is a new love. A seed being planted. And suffering and light. What do you mean lack and suffering in the past? You're going to be free from that. And you're going to have passion and chemistry. Why is it in reverse? Because right now you're cold as fucking hell and detached. And that's why you're going through some dark shit. As long as you're going to be cold and detached to this person, your dark shit's not going to end. That's your karma, I think. Where's Divine Masculine here? He's observing. 
He's trying not to numb and he's afraid. Where's Divine Feminine here? She is refocusing and being admired. And what's connecting the two of you? You don't have a commitment. Why not? Because you need to take action. And you're not using your creativity. Outcome of taking action. Romanticizing. Compromising. Having free will, outcome of your free will. This is what won't change. Why won't it change? Because you're not letting spirit guide you. Where are you being guided? You're being guided to settle. And your twin flame is here. You have too much pride and ego though. Alright, I'm going to have to leave it there because I have to go to work. Spirit, what would Divine Masculine's best friend say to him? May I see, please? You are worth more than your productivity. Never apologize for your feelings. And good news, you're perfect. Invest in things that make you giggle, Divine Feminine. Uh, may I have one of these, please? One of these for both. One card for both. Thank you. There you go. You're being blessed with abundance right now and you have a gift for animals plants and crystals number 27 and number 23 27 peonia you are being blessed with prosperity abundance and creativity to enhance this time of joy and amplify your experience of grace practice gratitude simply be happy for what you have and what is being given to you the universe loves to keep on giving to those who are grateful and happy to receive and who give back to life from a heart with gratitude and a positive attitude. This is such a healing time for you. The healer within is awakening and your ability to give and receive healing energy is becoming more powerful. Your connection to animal plants and crystals will support your healing and increase your energy to attract and create positive situations for yourself and others. And then 23 White Sage says this. It's safe to let things unfold as they will. You don't need to try to fix things or force something to happen. The universe is already working things out for you. There's no need to question your intuition or your vision just because things are working out different than the way you thought they would. The universe is a little bent and certainly has a sense of humor, but ultimately it is kind and knows the best way to accomplish all that needs to happen. You are very much a part of this process. All things will come together in the correct way and at the best time. The universe has your back. Trust that you are being helped and you are being helped. I want to look at your money real quick. Show me what's going on with Divine Masculine's income. Divine Masculine, you have a pur life purpose showing up and a partnership. You're supposed to be in a partnership that would lead to your life purpose, or you may already be. What about the Divine Feminine Spirit? Divine Feminine, you have perfection. Your home is here and new gifts are being activated. Why is your home in reverse? Because you're about to change. And what's connecting the two of you? You've been, y'all, oh my God. The two of you are connected by a windfall. You, the underworld taught you something and you, you're having a windfall. And it's something you don't see happening. You don't see it coming, but you're connected by a windfall. And I'm going to leave it there because I have to get going. All right. Who are you talking to? One roll. Who are you talking to? S-N-N-Y-J-G-K. And then the astrology dice with number two. And that is... I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks like that. Alright. Trinkets, please, Spirit, for this reading. I have got to get going. I have a piece of selenite. The Eiffel Tower. 
a unicorn, a cloud, a butterfly, dream hope, trust, love, a pendulum, a shell, dream big. Every journey begins with a single step. A tree of life. It's like a piece of trash. Remember somebody's being trash? A, a crescent moon with a baby. Susan B. Anthony. A triangle. And a sister is someone to dream, cry, sing, and laugh with. Alright, trinkets from this other ball. Where you're living is about to change. The trinket just fell out. I don't know. I don't see it. I'll find it later and I'll let you know. Whoa. The whole freaking bowl just fell off the table, y'all. And I'm running so late. I got a thing full of turquoise. I got young and strong, a kundalini, a prick, a prick, a, a feather, a tramp stamp, I love you infinity, an Eiffel Tower, a cash sign, a horse, and a ball. Alright, I hope you have a great day. Bye.